Hi guys and welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I like to play a bit with light painting but not in a standard way, in a more experimental way and what we will do you will see after my intro. Let's start with a picture idea I got and I got my idea because I have a client and for this client I have to do a trailer, a tutorial, video tutorial and a lot of pictures and that's a lot of work and I do it very quick because time is running, I have to do it you know, the next weeks, then it's really a lot of work I have to do here. And then I was thinking, okay, I have to highlight the product with different lights and normally I can use my torches and in front of my torches I can use the uh, colorfuls as I use always here in my tutorials. But then I was thinking, okay, that's too time expensive because of these I bought this lovely LED lights here and I can change the color with my smartphone and also I can change also here to warm white, cold white and have special FX effects. These lights are very cool and I will do, do this often more in my videos in the future but because of these client I bought these lights and also if you like to see some special product video of the slides i can do it for you so leave me a comment below that i know it and then i was playing around with the slides here and i was thinking okay hey let's do some light painting but not the normal stuff as you have seen a lot on youtube here i like to do some new stuff creative stuff so today i like to make light painting 2.0 with you and of course if the products videos finished and the trailers is set up for my client and the product is released. I will show you here also on my channel all the stuff and also a making of how you can make cool videos, but there's in the future. And I thought I have also a bad news for you because I have to do a lot of work for this client. I think I cannot do each weekend a video for you now, but I do my best that you will get each Friday a video, but I'm not sure if I can handle this. But anyway, I'm talking here too much, so let's start with the light painting 2.0 and now let's start also with the materials. First, you have to choose which light you will use. Of course, I use my new lights here. I love my new lights and I will link it below in the video, but you can also use a cheaper one if you like to, but I don't know how is the quality. I'm fine with this lights, but you can also buy a cheaper one. Or if you don't like to spend money, you can also use a normal torch and put some color folds on top of it like I do it in my old videos. And then you need a necklace out of silver like this one here and take care that the necklace will be shiny and also that will be a bit thicker necklace. And then you need only a black background. I have black paper here and also some books for support so that it don't fall. And then you need only your tripod and your camera, normal lens and then you can do the picture. My setup is very simple, of course, black background and I fix my background with the books that it don't fall and then I place my tripod frontally and then I lay down my lights here on my table in front of my black background with a bit space between it and that I don't have too much light effect on my background. I place also a book between it to avoid the light on the background. If you have too much light on the background, you have to place the background a bit far away and then I choose here the rainbow color effect that I have different colors in the same time on each panel here and then I played only around with my necklace and I make slow movements here don't make it too fast because you don't see the, the too fast movements later on on your camera and there are different techniques you can play like this or you can open your necklace 
and also play like this here or you can only make this effect and they are all cool effects later on on the pictures so let's go ahead with the camera settings my camera settings are as follows i choose the manual mode focused manually and of course i switched off the stabilization because i did my pictures with a tripod and my iso was by 200 my exposure time was between 1 20th and 1 second and my aperture was by 8 that i have enough depth of sharp in my pictures when I move my necklace here around and that's all so let's go ahead with my results I really love the light painting effect of my tutorial today and I'm very happy that I bought the special lights here and also changed my necklace here because I don't like to have a silver necklace, I like more the fabric necklace and I'm very happy that I did it because otherwise I didn't got the special idea here. Sometimes it's very cool to buy new stuff or to change stuff to get cool creative ideas. And also I'm very happy if you like to share my video and tutorials here on your social media because it's very hard for a small YouTuber to get some resonance and feedback and also new followers, subscribers, etc. So I'm very thankful for everybody who will share my tutorial and also I'm very thankful for every follower here on my channel and also from the early hour very cool that you follow my stuff here this one makes me very happy and also I think we will see us in my next tutorial but I don't know when I will do my next tutorial because of my clients project here but I do my best to make a lot of tutorials in the next months but I don't know when but we will see us in my next tutorial hopefully and now I wish you a good time Ciao.